Hey everybody, Chris Williams and Austin Arnott here. We're doing another way too early preview of the Iowa State football season. Today we talk about the Kansas State Wildcats. October 13th is the date. We're all Bill Snyder. It's my boy, Bill Snyder. One of my favorite characters in college football. Good guy. Comes to town. A uh, guy Paul Rhodes really looked up to mm -hmm. during his childhood. And I'm going to be honest with you. We talked last video about TCU potential for the Paul Rhodes special, the big upset of the season. I'm marking that one down right now. I think you can watch out for that one, folks. Yep. Kansas State, Austin, this is a team who, man, you got nightmares in your head when you think about the Kansas State Wildcats, Arrowhead Stadium, four in a row. You know, some might say Iowa State's due to beat this team. You got them coming back to home. Last time they came to Jack Trice Stadium, the Cyclones put a butt whooping on them. You were a part of that one as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I think this game's tougher than what a, a lot of fans are thinking at this point in time. I like Kansas State's defense and Colin Klein. One of the top quarterbacks in all of college football, but yeah. Austin, he got hit a lot last year. You're you're a big quarterback. Can he can he stand up another season? You like to think so. You look at you know he he is in comparison with with the Tim Tebow type quarterback. I mean he mm -hmm. he sure Tim Tim Tebow threw for more touchdown passes, but if you look at his body of work, I mean the guy had 40 touchdowns last year total. He ran for 1,200 yards, threw for another 15. I mean the guy was sound all the way around as a quarterback. But if like you say. If he takes as many hits as he did last year as he does this year, I don't think he's gonna. He, he's he's not gonna hold you up. You don't think he can? I don't hold think up. he can hold up. Not another year. I mean, the body can only take so much, and that guy runs the ball. I mean, he's a leading rusher on the team. I mean, this guy had 27 rushing touchdowns. That guy is gonna get nicked a couple times, and if he if he can't stay up right all the time, you know, it's gonna be very tough for K State to be good. Okay, so we talk when we did the Texas Tech video. We talked a lot about does Paul Rhodes have uh, Tommy Tuberville's number with the Texas Tech video. Um, I think it's you got to yeah, ask the question reverse. Does Kansas State and Bill Snyder have Paul Rhodes' number? Can Iowa State beat this team? What do you What do you think? That's the one you know. Bill Snyder has had Coach Rhodes' number in the yeah. past, but it's uh, been a uh, lot of unfortunate uh, yeah, things. A couple heartbreakers, you yeah. know, PAT blocked, and then uh, a bad throw by Meet Alexander that could have tied the game up. So you look at all the things in the, in the equation of this game, and, and Coach Rhodes has done a phenomenal job. We know that in the past two years, past three years of getting guys ready to play games. I think that Iowa State will be ready to play this game more than any this year. You think so? I think this is the one. Hopefully K-State still comes in October 13th with, with the bullseye on their back undefeated, you know, top 10 in the country, and we can knock them off. Okay. Well, I, again, I think this one, man, it's tough. It'll be tough, though. I It'll think this tough. one, I don't know. Old man Snyder, I'm a believer. I really am a believer in what that guy can do. But if you look at – here's the deal. This is the other way to look at this football game. When you look at you know their impressive record last year, gosh, they had a lot of close wins. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of really close calls, games that could have mm -hmm. gone either way, as did Iowa State, as did a lot of teams yep. in college football. But it's not like that team's going to go out there and dominate a lot of people. I think right. regardless of what happens, win, it, lose, it yep. it's going to be a close game on October 13th. That's our look, our way too early premature preview of Iowa State, Kansas State. And coming up next, we've, we've got a lot of good games to talk about over the next few weeks. Austin, we're going to talk Baylor. We're going to talk Oklahoma State. A lot of really, I think, intriguing matchups this year for the Cyclones in the Big 12. So for Austin or not, I am Chris Williams saying so long, everybody.